Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another brand new episode of Unauthor Blocks, and in today's episode we are, of course, going to be continuing work on our castle project over here, and oh my goodness, it's looking good. I still apologise about last episode where we built this gatehouse, uh, being completely voiceover because of my stupid microphone, but this time we're not having that issue. We are talking perfectly fine, I've double, triple checked that. But yeah, today we are going to be continuing on the castle with this section right here. We're going to be first working on this bit of wall and then working on this big building here. And we may get onto these buildings at the end of the episode, but I don't know if we will. So I'm just going to keep working and plug away at this castle over the next few episodes. We may take some breaks to do some other stuff, maybe some collabs, that sort of thing. But the main focus on the foreseeable future is this castle. So, yeah, as you could see, if you didn't catch the last episode, I highly recommend you go and watch it because we built this amazing looking gatehouse, which already ties the castle into the landscape so very well, looking up there. I can't wait to continue around building the rest of the castle. But anyway, first things first, we need to start on this wall. So first things first with this wall, and it's getting dark, so we better sleep. So as I was saying, first things first with the wall, we need to work out what sort of height on the tower we want to bring this wall up to. Because we don't want it to be too short, like we don't want it to be like a four block wall, but we also don't want it to dwarf these towers completely. I'm thinking we sort of take it up to a similar height as uh, the bottom of the portcullis maybe. That sort of height, so maybe like here. I didn't mean to break that, but you get the gist. We take it up to sort of there um, for the main bulk of the wall and the wall is really just going to be uh, stone. I think every sort of three blocks in the wall we'll add in a stone brick pillar. So let's just get this wall going and I'm thinking I want to bring it up to this sort of height maybe. So if we take it to maybe there, that should be stone brick. So if we take it to sort of here, uh, that might be a good height. And then over here is where we'll put the top of the wall on. So this is going to be the main body of the wall there at that sort of height. And I think that is probably quite a good height for it. Uh, pretty tall, so it's pretty menacing, but not ridiculous. So it doesn't dwarf everything else. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is where we're going to put the overhanging sort of top bit of the wall. in. I don't really know how that's going to work because this wall is very like... I don't really know how to say it like... Uh, uneven. There's no easy way to do any sort of pattern in it, which is good. I like that. This is definitely going to be very, very nice. So if we bring this up ha to how it's going to be, obviously like this, obviously it's going to extend down a bit further as well uh, because we need to sort all of these dirt sides out. You can't be having uh, just sat on top of some dirt. That wouldn't be any good foundation whatsoever. So we need to bring it down. And I think this could end up looking really nice as the wall slowly bleeds more and more off of the hill. Uh, and it'll definitely look nice with this building as well. So then the castle's not at uh, the same height all the way around, which is incredibly important because it makes it look uh, fitting. It makes it look like it fits in with the landscape. Um, so yeah, yeah, look, that's already looking really nice how it uh, comes down off the landscape further down. It just looks like there's a solid foundation underneath it. Um, but yeah, that wall shape is uh, exactly what I want. And we need to work out what we're doing for the top bit. So for, for the top of the wall here, I want to incorporate some more stone bricks in. Um, because I feel like the stone is just the generic strong structure with these stone brick accents, which are like the bit added on. Uh, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking every time we have a stone brick pillar, we come in and do something like that with stairs. And then for the rest of the way round, just in between there, we fill it in with these uh, stone brick slabs. And it could end up giving a really nice effect to the build. So if we fly down and have a look at how that lip looks, it's looking pretty good. It may need some more of these stone brick uh, stairs and or actually I'm thinking what if we rotate the stone brick stairs so instead of being up against the pillar like that they are the other way round maybe like that that could end up looking pretty nice and then that means it just looks I'm gonna leave that one there actually 
Um, it just looks a bit more structured rather than the other way around. It looks a bit fuller. That is getting there. That's looking a lot better. I think so anyway. Um, I think what needs to be done is added on the top uh, section with the... Uh, what are they called? The battlements. So once we add them in, it might look a little better. So I think every every other block will just add in add in a battlement like so how does that look already I don't know I'm not sure I think maybe underneath every battlement we should have a stone brick stair um, that's that might work a bit better so if we were to do something like this so instead of them all facing ah oh, fallen <laughs> instead of them all facing um, different ways something like that how does that look that's looking a lot better. I actually really like that. I think that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to go around and do that for all of them. I think as far as walls go, it can't get much better than that. I think that's looking quite nice. Um, I'm liking how it incorporates the edge of the tower as well. It does look pretty... Oh, fallen in the lake while zoomed in. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm still not sure about the top section. It looks better than what I did before. So before, what I had was... Uh, the battlements just be one block. But what I've actually done is a block and a half slab with a block. Um, just to make it look a little bit thicker and a bit more substantial. And that actually works really well and looks quite good. So next thing to do is to do the exact same thing on the other side. But maybe not put the battlements on it. Because obviously this is the interior. They don't need battlements on the interior. But I don't think it looks too bad. So that's the next thing we're going to do is do the backside. And now the absolute last thing to add to this wall is, of course, the andesite and cobblestone detailing in the texture. And just like that, the wall is done. All of the detailing is in on both sides of the wall. I especially like how it's looking from this angle over here. It's just fitting in so well with the rest of this castle. And I, as you can see, the lower down you go, the more cobblestone uh, gets put in. Because it feels like, to me, there's more pressure on the lower parts of the build and it's cracking more. So that's why as you go higher in the wall there is less andesite and uh, I tried to keep that the same on the tower there's still a bit but there's less of it it's a lot more prominent down the lower portions and especially in the wall the outer wall has a lot more texturing than the inner wall which to me makes a lot of sense but anyway and yeah, the next thing we need to do is start working on this building so I'm gonna jump up there and outline what sort of idea I have for this build Okay, so I think the best angle to detail my plan is down here in the plains behind with the horses. As you can see, I've brought down a stone brick pillar all the way to actually the river level near enough. So right down to there. And that is because this is not actually going to drop all the way off the mountain. I'm going to terraform, uh, obviously, a pathway down from the front. And it's going to go round the edge of this building and end up somewhere over there. So that is all going to get covered up in the near future by... Uh, well, a path, essentially. But first, I need to actually build up a big uh, section of this to make it uh, a big foundation. Then we're going to build a building on top of this. So it's going to come out slightly, and then it's going to go up into a big building. And I'm thinking maybe like a curved roof or a triangular. I think I'm going to go with a triangular roof. I don't know what would look better. But I feel like this is going to be sort of like a great hall, like a dining hall type thing. Uh, which should end up looking really quite nice. It's going to be probably slightly taller than the gatehouse towers, maybe, because uh, this is going to be quite a big building, and then the building behind it's going to be a big uh, rectangular building with three towers that just tower up somewhere up there in the skyline, making it look really nice. Uh, so that's just going to be a really grand section of the build, making the view from down here good, and those dirt blocks really have to go. <laughs> like, they're just distracting to the eye line, but... That is essentially the plan, but I need to work out the path coming from down here and what I'm going to make it out of, uh, but that's going to sort of like come out of there and then snake sort of along the edge and go all the way down and end up somewhere in the forest, as I said over here, and maybe I'm thinking of connecting this path uh, to go all the way back to town and connect onto my other build, but that is a long path, but of course when it comes to paths, I know exactly who I need. So in a near future episode, I'm going to try and drag Nano to come and build this big path for me. Well, not for me, with me. Uh, and we're going to detail it and actually make it a really nice looking path. I mean, it is only a couple thousand blocks. 
uh, a lot shorter than the Mesa path we did, and we actually finished connecting that path up. So it might actually be a doable path, but yeah, I'm going to sort of outline a foundation for this, fill that all in with stone, uh, and then I will jump back with you once we can get a building on top of it. I am down to my last four stone, which is not good, but also fine, because uh, me and Nano have partnered with uh, Remington. Uh, our two corporations have partnered together to form one conglomerate corporation, and that means we get access to Remington Stone Factory, which uh, chucks out some ridiculous amount of stone an hour. It's like... It's like a shulker box every like six minutes or something dumb. I could be wrong with that, but it's it's actually ridiculous how much stone this thing chucks out. But yeah, what we've done is, as you can see, if we fly down to the planes, um, we have got ourselves this big stone block that goes all the way down into the dark oak forest. Obviously, that's going to be covered up, as I said, with a path, which might actually be the thing we do next. Um... But what I decided to do was sort of start where the building was actually going to go. So I've put a foundation on, not a foundation, a little walkway. Uh, slightly lower down from the wall, uh, just here. Which is where the main entrance into the big grand hall is going to go. There's also going to be another side entrance as well. Uh, but I thought that a cool way to incorporate the walls would be have a door here. This lantern will have to move if that's the case. Uh, this, these lightings are just temporary so we don't get a mob infested wall but uh, if we have a door here and then one of those big oak, uh, spruce doors that we do over in my town over there as the entrance into a grand hall sort of area it's actually going to be quite a small little feasting hall but it should be quite cool nonetheless but I just sort of added this little balcony walkway thing which I actually think needs some lighting but we'll come back and do that at a later date because the next thing we need to do is work out what we're doing with this build. And I'm thinking what we're going to do. Obviously, the back half of it's going to be covered up here by this uh, these towers. But we can certainly uh, work out what's going to happen here. And I'm thinking that a cool thing we could do is have some stone brick, like, uh, I don't really know what to call them, supports coming out. And then in between each of them have a big, big window. But I don't know how far down the stone brick supports are going to go. Because obviously we're going to terraform this uh, pathway around the edge of the building here. So what we need to do first things first is get a crap ton of grass and dirt. And just sort of terraform down uh, a walkway that's going to come down over to sort of like here. But we need to do that so we can work out how much flat stone texture we're actually going to have. We're going to have a fair bit. But I'm thinking... Uh, we take it down to maybe that sort of level there. That's sort of where the tower's going to come down to, sort of come across there, and then cut off this entire bottom half. Uh, just so we can see what we're working with, with how much of a big flat stone wall we have. Because the windows, obviously, are going to start up somewhere up there. So we're going to have all this space down here to uh, make interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the stone factory with my sh one of my shulker boxes and pick up a crap ton of stone. Um, because, obviously, I checked with Rem, that's all fine. As Yeah, we're literally down to four stone. Uh, and then we're going to stop off at the dirt shop with some diamonds and pick up some dirt and grass. Because we've got a little bit, we got like a couple stacks. But that's nowhere near going to be enough for terraforming this bit here. So we're going to do that. So let's jump over to the stone factory. So stop numero uno is over here at the dirt shop, which I believe Tobyson, the other Toby, set up. So I'm going to come in here and uh, give him some diamonds for some dirt. So we got 13. Um, if they're all one stack for one diamond, we may as well take the grass. So let's just take... I think that's... I hope that's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Oh, it's 12. So we get one diamond to spare, but yeah, we just let's just ransack all of the grass. Um, let's whack that in the ender chest so we can fill this shulker box full of stone. But yeah, thank you, Toby. <laughs> Hopefully, you enjoy being 12 diamonds richer. Remington's base never ceases to amaze me. This is the sort of mega base 
these sorts of let's plays and SMPs were made for. Like, not only is that crazy, the middle section, but these mountains going around the outside are utterly ridiculous. But anyway, we are over here. Uh, I believe this is the stone factory. Uh, yes, possibly. Right, um, where can I find stone? I don't, I, I've never been here before to the stone factory. This doesn't look like stone to me. So there must be like some sort of, ah, this is what we want. I'm thinking down here maybe. There is a shulker box of stone here. Do you reckon Ram would be happy if I was to just come in here and take that shulker box of stone? And leave an empty shulker box. I think that's fair. I'm just going to leave an empty shulker box there. Because I don't know if it will break it. Putting it in the output chest. Assuming that's the input chest. But I'll just leave it there for Rem. So yeah. Rem by the way did say I could come and take stone when I wanted. So yeah. I'm just going to take the shulker box of stone. Because we are in a coalition now. But anyway. I'm just going to have a quick fly around here on my own and have a look at the base. If you want to see how this base was built, obviously check Remington out in the description as well as all the other Renorther blocks. It's always nice to spread the love, but wow, these mountains are super cool. I've started putting in the start of the path declining, and I think that's going to look so good once we get that terraformed all the way down to the base and all the way around uh, because it cuts off just at the perfect place on the build, I think. So I think it'll be really good but the one thing we have to do before getting the path in place is actually building that tower down to uh, the base so we can work around it because i realized now i've started when i go around there i'm likely just to go straight underneath uh, that whole build there and completely forget about it so i'm going to build the stone down to the base and then continue on the path and i'll get back with you once the entire path is laid in the basic gist of the path is there so i've got the shaping of it done pretty much about how I want it so obviously it starts up here and then winds its way down the outside of the castle and currently it just comes to a stop right round here uh, just because I don't know where I want to go from here because obviously this is where it is there's going to be more castle up there but it's not going to be on such a high plinth but it could be cool to wrap the path around the back here as well but ideally I want the path to end up in that plains biome over there so at some point I'm going to need to extend the path down this side which I think I'll do and have it finish up uh, somewhere down the bottom here where I could build maybe a little bridge into the forest and then loop the path back round out uh, over this side maybe uh, for another bridge over into the plains biome so then uh, we can have a lovely view of the castle as we walk around but that is looking super nice when that mountain is terraformed fully there and we've got some trees and stuff I think a good way to cover up that big flat stone wall is just build a big pine tree there and have a couple of um, lesser pine trees here and there as well just to cover up that big flat stone wall I think that could be a good idea as well I'm toying with the idea of having some barred windows down here and have this be like a dungeon sort of thing that uh, is next to the path but that is all for the future for now, we are actually nearly running out of time for this episode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to halt this project over here, this big uh, build here, and come back to this in the next episode. And in this episode, I'm going to finish off getting this path completely done. So obviously terraforming the whole side down and then uh, using path blocks coming in here, building a path. It's going to be a very simple path. I might ask Nano to come through and spruce it up for some payment, obviously. Uh, and then get some details on the edge of the path, some trees, that sort of thing, to make it all quite nice. And I'm thinking we start the trees off in the lower regions down here as being these dark oak and oak trees. And then as we get higher up into the mountains, they go into spruce and pine trees. Uh, a bit like the ones we built for Forge a couple of episodes ago with Nano. They could be quite cool. So, yeah, what I'm going to do first is terraform the sides of this down and I hope that looks good. Obviously, we're running quite. We're still running low on dirt, so I may have to find a place uh, where we just dig dirt. Because look, I've already used most of those stacks of grass just on this path bit, so terraforming it all down is going to be very difficult. But I'm going to keep plugging it away, terraforming it. And I've just fallen off, but I think the first thing we need to do really is work on where the path's going to go from here, because obviously it's at this elevation. I think what I'm going to do. 
So I'm just going to take the elevations that we've got given already, uh, like so, and terraform it down with the slope of the hill, but just a bit further out, and then cut this river a little short, and then hopefully we'll end up down here quite low down, which is exactly what I want, and we can build a small bridge, or just terraform over it and have a cave go under it. That could be a cool idea. But basically, I want to start this path from the edge of the uh, Dark Oak Forest, and then we can obviously come back and finish the path going through the Dark Oak Forest in a later episode. But for now, I'm going to continue working on this path. The castle's getting sieged. <laughs> We're being sieged. Let's get on the gatehouse. Take these guys down. <laughs> Onto the castle wall. They can't get us from up here. Aha. This is where you thought I was unprepared. Okay. <laughs> we got one. Nice. Where are the other boys? Where are you? There's one. See, this is why having a castle is not only really good looking, but also very practical. So you can jump off the walls and absolutely nail these guys. Now, where's the leader? Is there a leader? I've already got Bad Omen, but that was from another one. Well, I seem to have won the battle. It seems like I'm forever coming down here to buy something or other, but again, it is dirt because I've run out on terraforming. So, Toby is really ransacking my diamonds today, and good, there is a good number of them, so let's take... Well, as many as we can carry, really, which is all of them, and I believe they were both of them, like so, and then it was one stack, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, yeah, it was one stack over. So, Toby has been fully bought out of all of his dirt and grass so we can get back to work. So the castle is being put to rest for today. I'm over here on the camera account to show you what we've done. And as you can see, we have terraformed up this lovely path going all the way from down by the riverside here where we're gonna eventually build a bridge. And that is weird how we're getting some glowing through the um, slabs there, but that is just because we got some lighting under here to make sure mobs don't spawn. But as you can see, yeah, terraformed a lovely, lovely cliff face up here. Made the mountain just that little bit bigger once again. And as you can see, the river again just goes to nothing. And that is because we are still going to go ahead with the original plan of having an underground port. It's just going to have two entrances now, I think, which could be really cool um, from this side and this side of the river. But, or we might redirect that river to go into this one as well, so it's like a fork, which could be quite cool. But yeah, today we've got loads of stuff done, which has been amazing. We have got this amazingly terraformed cliff face, and it does look a little bit weird on this bit because of the biome colour change. But I'm going to cover that up by building bushes, boulders, and trees all over this slope here. Uh, this one right here especially, which looks very uh, organised and, you know, a bit uniform but minecraft terrain does that sometimes and it doesn't look out of place i think it blends really nicely with the shape of this mountain so i think it is gonna be pretty damn decent when we build this castle all the way up on top of this uh rock here because we're gonna actually i've decided terraform this down a bit this bit over here and have a big flat area over here with some houses some uh city wall going around the edge of here that sort of thing and build this area over here is sort of the main town with the castle up here and some smaller farming villages and stuff up here but that's all way down in the future today i'm just really happy that we managed to get started on another section of the castle of course build our lovely wall section up as well but in the next episode we are going to come back here and add all the details to the path some lighting some trees some boulders and the same to this slope as well and then come back in here and uh, continue work on this build now we've got a set place where the path comes to on it and i'm thinking a good way to hide this big ugly gray wall is putting a custom tree right here could just help uh, hide that a bit more which could be quite nice but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this episode of an author blocks minecraft survival i've been toby once again please be sure to like uh, definitely comment down below what i've been doing good and what you'd like to see in the future and of course, subscribe for more content like this. Follow on with this lovely castle project that's happening. And I can guarantee this is going to look so sick once it's done. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Toby and goodbye. I'll see you in the next one.